The last date for which I have to decide whether bond X will trade cum interest or X interest is 15 December 2012. Right now, for 15th of December 2012, you have to decide what will be the previous coupon payment date and what will be the next coupon payment date. Now, the previous coupon payment date will be the 30th of September. 2012 and then the next coupon payment date will be the 31st of March 2013 in other words of the next year. The registered closing date preceding the next coupon payment date one month before that will therefore be 28th of February 2013 and then 15th of December 2012 will fall somewhere in this period, the transaction date. So it will fall after the previous coupon payment date, but before the register closing date. So who owned this bond on 15 December 2012? The transaction took place, took place on the 15th of December 2012. The register closes on the 28th of February 2013. So, the buyer will own the bond on the register closing date. And therefore, who will receive the full coupon on the next coupon payment date? The buyer, because his name will be in the register. He will receive the full coupon from 30th of September until 31st of March. But that's not quite fair because for this period, from the previous coupon payment date until the transaction date, it belonged to the seller. And that is a period of 76 days for which the seller should actually receive the interest. So from 30th of September 2012 until the transaction date, 15 December 2012, it belonged to the seller. And therefore, the seller has to be compensated for this interest for 76 days. Now, how will the seller be compensated? The buyer will just pay the amount extra, therefore you will add accrued interest to the clean price, to calculate the all-in price, you will therefore say clean price plus accrued interest. Therefore, on 15th of December, this bond trades cum interest. So in the table, you will indicate that this bond trades cum interest on the 15th of December 2012, and that the period for which accrued interest has to be calculated is this period from the 30th of September 2012 until the 15th of December 2012.